My name is Joanna Marinowska. I'm an artist. No, my name is City Jasper. We come from the city of Gdynia, yes. uh, located on the Baltic shore in Poland. And uh, there is an interesting statue that has, uh, uh, has been removed from its original location. And we are interested in the topic of how, uh, I guess, the monuments are also uh, being an object of uh, kind of revenge for some kind of historical event. So all those kind of aspects are in, in, interest, um, interesting to us and we are going to bring a, a statue of uh, Natasha. That was uh, this kind of like an informal nickname. Uh, or, originally, I guess the statue was uh, a symbol of gratitude towards the uh, Red Army, the, the uh, I guess the Russians who helped Poland to fight the, the Nazi occupation. The sculpture itself is very beautiful as a sculpture and it's kind of sad that it, because of the kind of political connotation and this kind of oversimplified vision of the history is completely yeah. perceived as something terrible. Mm -hmm. Especially that, you know, it doesn't even represent any historical figure. It's, figure, it's right. just a symbol. Originally it was built in 1953. It was like quite important like a navigation spot. When you were saying that you want to meet with somebody, you used to say, you, you were saying that let's meet in front of Natasha. Natasha. I think it was removed exactly in, uh, you in know, more or less in, in 1990. 1990. I think that's when in the, the 1990, I think, at the beginning of the... Uh, when the, the system collapsed and yeah. in this kind of transition thing. I mean, it was hard to find the statue at first because we thought it was removed like completely and maybe, uh, I don't know, destroyed, but no. Uh, and there is some kind of sense of decency and I guess the this, this statue was pre preserved, it, it was just undesired in the central location in the context of the new political system, I guess. But what we are also inter interested in is because it's good to sometimes have a distance, right? Because I have a feeling that like, this uh, statue will mean something completely opposite when it's standing here. So I'm, I'm wondering how it changes, like when you look at other people's history yeah. versus your own. Yeah. So we want to bring all those kind of stories together and uh, in, the, in the form of, a, of a, um, a film or video that will be like a built out of different kind of conversations with different people. Right? But it's not going to be a do documentary no. film. So it's going, our goal is to create this kind of like a, almost like a narrative yeah. uh, feature of a film, which would be portraying this character, mm -hmm. but it's still, it's going, to, it's going to function to some extent, maybe as a, like a, as a dream. Mm -hmm.